Welcome to another edition of Noah's Video Blog. So, today's post is entitled, Period. And there are several ways that this post could go, as the word period has quite a few different connotations. Well, since this post will be G-rated, it's not referring to menstruation. It's not directly related to school either. Well, maybe in a way. And although I'm working with periodic boundary conditions in my research, I won't bore you with these details. Instead, it's about the seemingly innocuous dot at the end of sentences. Notice that this is an audio optional post. The post is transcribed at the end of the post below my uh, countdowns as a YouTube video. <gasps> Excuse me, YouTube video. So, this is based off of a column from Mary Schmick on October 31st, 2014. I'm going to try an experiment. Line break. It is something that I'm not going to like, as I consider myself one of the sticklers. Line break. Plus, the signal of no further thought or discussion is a cue on which I do not pick up in texts. Line break. Frankly, I find poor grammar to be a worse signal in texts than a period. Line break. However, it may be partially a socialization effect, as I'm an infrequent texter. Line break. Okay, this is getting a little annoying. Let me shift to a different way of ending the sentences instead of a line break. Ellipses. From a random sample of texts, I will give some examples of what I have sent and received. Stop. From M. Did you see Bo was fired? Question mark. Noah. I did not yet see that he was fired. Hope this is not 2003 all over again. M. Remind me what happened in 2003. No punctuation. Noah. Solich was canned after a 9-3 and three season, comma, and the next coach had two losing seasons in four years, period. M. And are you glad that he was fired or not? No punctuation. Noah. Ambivalent, comma, but I think it should have waited until after the bowl. Over. Additionally, all of my texts have the signature tilde Noah at the end, stop. Ergo, I can send a blank message if I hit send twice, stop. Text conversations with my dad are a strange commodity, stop. Sometimes he's direct, but oftentimes he texts in strange ways, stop. Here is a text conversation with him when he was at the Nebraska Northwestern volleyball match earlier in the year, stop. Comments and brackets that I have in my text are not part of the actual text messages. Stop. Dad. Go cats. No punctuation. Noah. Are you there? Noah. It asked, comma, at Bob, question mark. Dad. Do you know player wearing one, question mark? Mom and I are both bobbing. Noah. Taylor Tashima, period. She is a freshman, comma, and I have not... New message. Inadvertent blank. Noah. Formally introduced myself, period. Dad. You need to... To, period. She is gorgeous, smiley face. Later. Dad. Tell me about coaches, dot, dot. Do they know you, question mark. Noah. They all do, comma, as far as I know, period. Dad. Incredible point. Noah. I am listening, exclamation mark. Dad. Two days. One word. Noah. Almost exactly, exclamation mark. Over. However, as is customary, personality tests are more of a spectrum than a discrete set stop. 
Let me briefly summarize the types mentioned by Schmick and how I fit or do not fit into them. Stop. I will also go back to regular punctuation in my written work, because line breaks and stops are not my type of communication. And also, it's hard to transcribe text messages when part of my post is... It's hard to transcribe text messages to voice when part of my point here is that, uh, is that the punctuation matters to me. Okay, so of the personalities given, I am most like the stickler. When I text, I use complete sentences and use abbreviations sparingly. I will not, for example, use the letter U for the word Y-O-U, or the letter R to stand for the word A-R-E. I was not an English major in college, but I do believe that proper punctuation is important. <laughs> the biggest factor that makes me fail the stickler's criteria, I'm only 27 years old. The slacker? Hardly. From Schmick's column, it describes younger people that slack probably those that use texting more for long conversations with a lot of back and forth. In that case, I guess it makes more sense why they might see the period as a confrontational or end of discussion mark. Of course, I strongly prefer to hold conversations by voice rather than by text, so I don't expect myself to fall into the slacker category other than the fact that I will have a foot in the category for twelve and a half more years. After all, the end of the description said, you are under forty, or you have teenage children. <laughs> Go figure. The young counterculturist? This also fits into my texting personality quite well. Um, let's see. By far, I'm the person among my siblings who sends the fewest text messages. I much prefer to call people on the phone when wanting to have a conversation, particularly if logistics are involved. There has been at least one time where my text got interpreted in a tone of confrontation when I intended it only as information. Perhaps part of the reason why I don't text often is that I'm not in good regular contact with my friends. <laughs> Weekly means that I'm doing very well whereas hourly or almost, or at worst, daily, it's probably more common for other people. Although this whole conversation really probably makes me an evolutionist. Though I take pride in proper grammar in my text messages, I know that others might not uh, read too much into it. Uh, let's see, where was I? Oh, yes. Sometimes, however, I feel that text messages between two people will eventually reach a happy medium in terms of grammar, use of shortcuts, etc. Definitely a socialization thing. In fact, given my propensity for preferring conversation and inspired by Alianora's post yesterday, I'm going to transcribe this into a YouTube video that you're watching right now. As you saw in this post, Transcription is not an exact science, and why should it be? Sometimes it's important to get every last word, but this time, no. So, today is the 339th day of MMXIV. That makes 48 weeks and 3 days. Whew, time is flying. And today is the 341st day of Mission 441. Just a hundred days remain on that goal. This is Noah signing off from Never a Worry. See you next time.